I'm a bad boy now. Here's a question. Something that bothers me, keeps me up at night. A question that I don't know if there is an answer. But it is, is the customer always right? No. Well, wow. Well, you, uh, like I'd like to say you put my mind at rest, but that was it was so quick that I feel like you've you've thought about this already. You've got a deep answer for it. Why, yeah, Hardy? It, uh, what, are, are the is the customer not always right? Sometimes they move left. Sometimes the customer is on your left. Sometimes they're just kind of rude. There's a big market for Karen stories. We've got a whole Karen thing. So I think I think they're wrong some of the times. And also they can just be wrong about anything. Just because they're a customer doesn't mean they're right about everything. If that was true, then all the scientists would be going into places and then just saying all their theories as customers, weren't they? Yeah, I guess. It'd just be like black holes are actually spinach. <laughs> That'll be us. Oh, that five dollars, thank you. They would just pay. They'd say, "I'm the customer." I said, "Black holes of spinach." Here's five bucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. Hand me my Nobel. Yo. Yo. What's up with Shark Week? What's up with Shark Week? What is up with Shark Week? What is up with Shark Week? I don't know. It always. It always seems to me that like Shark Week is uh, twenty four weeks of the year. Yeah, and um, everybody's talking about oh, uh, I watched Shark Week. I saw it on Shark what, Week. What's on Shark Week even? I don't know. They have a week of sharks, and it's just so much sharks. Seems like they could just have like a Shark Day, or uh, maybe Shark Fridays. Is every that- day, every Friday. Yeah, people would love that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, if, it's, if there's that, would be food. more Shark Days. That, like, I'm sure I'm there's not only sure if it would be. Well, I don't know how many shark weeks there actually are. There's probably only one okay. every year. Well, if there's only one shark week, I'm not sure what is up with it. What what sort of things are, are on shark well, week? Sharks. Do they play documentaries? Do they play Yeah, documentaries? a lot of documentaries about sharks. Why? Everything they've ever made about sharks, they put on a shark they're week. They're just fish trying to be a bit tougher. I'm not convinced. What, that they're not tough? That they're not tough Oh, well, you go swimming with one then. Yeah, we did. Yeah, a little ones. Yeah, they were they were dorks. Wouldn't it, even come near me. Okay, yeah, but what about a real big one who punch, punch him in the face? You can punch him in the nose. Yeah, that's how they they had like their first big UK shark attack, and the guy solved it by just punching the shark in the face, and they swam away. Right. Just punch it in the face. They're dumb. <laughs> But they should have chose floors and now it's too late. Yeah. Now they swim. Now they're liquid. They're just doing liquids. They're doing liquids. And to be fair, they're good at that. Yep. But now they can't get into floors and we've got floors because now if they try and get into floors, pew. Oh, according to you, we just punch them. We don't even have to yeah. pew. Yeah, but we can. We can pew them as well. Efficient. Yeah. Pew and punch. Pew and punch the sharks. Yeah. So don't be afraid. Yeah. Oh, what about Sharknado, that documentary Sharknado, when all the water came onto the floors? Yeah, that's actually a big problem. We don't want we don't want the floors to become liquid or we we're we're done. We're in trouble. We might be done. It depends. Are the sharks really bad CGI because then we're we're gone. We're yeah, cooked. they are the worst CGI. <laughs> We're in real trouble. If you start to see some low, some low res sharks coming out of like a puddle's worth of water, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> if you start to see a random subplot about a captain on like a ship that just ends abruptly with them all being eaten by sharks, watch out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Does they get tied up at the end? I've never made it to the end of Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Are you down with watching sports? I love sports. What do you mean you love sports? What sports, sports do you love? What sports? Lacrosse. You love lacrosse. Water polo. 
lacrosse water polo? Is that one sport? No. It's two. Two sports, you dingus. Okay, so you're like lacrosse and water polo. I like other sports as well, though. What other Don't sports? Don't get me wrong. I'm not just I'm not just a – I know a lot of just lacrosse and polo guy and water polo guys. Yeah. And they're not that fun. No, they don't sound it. No. Did they get on with each other, like the lacrosse guys and the water oh, polo guys? they kind of just in fight. Oh. Like, Which yeah. one's the best? Yeah. Hand or stick. I mean, but we all know. Water or floor. Yeah. Yeah. What other? Yeah, which is going back to sharks and – yeah, um, sharks, humans. sharks and humans. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I also love other other sports. Don't get me wrong. I don't, oh, love wait. love the AFL, love the Australian rule ruling footballs. Yeah, you like the Australian ruling footballs. Oh, it's so good. Wait, wait who's your favourite team in the Australian ruling footballs? My favourite team is something I will not. Say publicly. Oh, why is that controversy? Because what? I don't want to get my head bashed in. Who's going to bash your head in? That sounds extreme. Dockers fans. <laughs> Dockers fans. As Essendon fans. Essendon fans. Yeah. Adelaide Crow fans. Yep. Um. So those are teams you definitely don't go for. I never said I have bashed in someone. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk fans. <laughs> Sun fans. Yep. You're naming some teams. I'm actually quite impressed. Giants fans. Giants fans. Um, the Bulldogs. Yeah. Not the not, not the not the fans. Just the actual dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. And also just the team. Their fans are really are really nice. Yeah. But the team just like, what'd you say? What'd you say? Who are you going You're for? Going for Collingwood. <gasps> are you going for Collingwood? Hmm? No. Are you a pie supporter. A magpie supporter. No. What did you say? No, Dad. <laughs> stop getting your foot near my head to smash it in. <laughs> A sploosh. <laughs> Is that the noise of your head getting kicked? Sploosh. That's terrible. <laughs> it's full of liquid. That's a weird thing. Because if you say what? you never, like, bl- bled... If you never bled. If you never bled, how you, much how much how much would you think liquid is inside you and how much would you think would be solids? If I never bled and well, had no concept of of, of my the inside of inside your of body. my body. Um what I mean you cr- you? would I, mean, I cry? Got, would I have cried ever? Yeah. Maybe I just think I'm all tears inside. Maybe you think you're all tears, but also And I've uh, got saliva. Yeah. And I'm assuming I've been to the toilet. Yeah. Well, doing number one, that confirms I'm all liquid inside. Number two, it's just getting confusing. Yeah, but huh, it, it's hard because aren't we like we're 75% water, but I feel like. Yeah, but it's mixed in with other stuff, so it's sort of semi-solid. Yeah. What are we? We plasma? We're not plasma. There is That'd plasma. Cool. We've got some plasma. But that's like the weird, dumb blood plasma that isn't as cool because it's not fire. Oh, yeah, there's that one. It's not fire. Is that what the human torch is? Is he a plasma now? Yeah. He- that, that's actually what all the – there's the liquid guy. Yeah. Who's the stretchy man. Stretchy man. There's the thing whose name is like rock guy, uh, Korg, and he is a rock and that is solid. And then there's Human Torch. Korg is not he's, in he's Fantastic plasma. Four. And then when you... What, what about what the happens, Invisible Woman? Yeah, what happens when you disappear? You vanish into sin, air, gas, bam, done, bam. Fin- f- figured it all out. Science! Science! Hey, yeah, how do, how do magnets work? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, why do you look like me? <laughs> Is that an insane clown posse joke? Yeah. <laughs> My son looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> Miracles. Oh, is it? It's like what? What are oh, the names? Uh, oh, what, what are the clowns' names? Shaggy, two dope, and violent J, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 
Shaggy's kids look just like Shaggy, and my kid looks just like Daddy. <laughs> it's great. It's a great song. It, is it? Yeah. Did you see it in my top three worst songs? Hey, mate, we need some funding. Funding? Yeah. Got to need, I need, we need money to keep this organization running. What is your best idea for fundraising? Wait. What oh, we need yeah. is a fundraising idea. Are Let's we go. We're starting a Patreon and you haven't told me and then you're going to yell, we're starting a Patreon. No, I actually genuinely want to know how, how you think we should raise some monies um, for charity. Oh, for charity? Yeah. I've got so many ideas for that. Uh, Have you? Yeah. Yeah, go. Okie dokie. So one is just on one day, everybody on social media just posts the same picture of a walrus. So when you're scrolling, you consecutively keep on seeing this walrus. It's the same picture. You don't change it at all. You don't make it a meme. You don't make it funny. Okay. How is people supposed to know anything about what you're doing? Because they'll look into why am I seeing the same picture of the walrus. Yeah. And then it'll, it'll just take it'll you get to get them engaged. It'll take you to that, one website. One website that mm. says, "Hey, why are you seeing the walrus?" Because, because like, give us money. Because yeah, yeah. Because because we need your money. So that's one idea. Yeah, I've cool. got it's not a bad idea. Well, go on then. Uh, we just pay a guy to stay in one of, in a in a zorb ball. Okay. For a month. For a month. I'll stay in a Zorb ball for a month. No, a lot of room in a Zorb ball. We make a big one. and I Exercise, Zorb ball. Food through a hole? Well, everything through the hole. What if, like, That's good. some pranksters come and you're asleep at night and it's raining and they roll your Zorb ball so the hole's pointing up. Your Zorb ball full up with water. I'll swim. You have a Zorb pool. Yeah, that's epic. <laughs> got any more fundraising ideas? I've got so many. you got so many. So many. This might have to be a regular segment. Okay. <laughs> Hardy's fundraising idea. Okay. So next one. Yep. Pretty simple. We just buy a bunch of roller ba- blades, right? Roller blades should be cheap. Nobody's using those anymore. Yeah. Should yep. be cheap. And we just, we put them on our feet and we say, hey, look at how many people have roller blades. Yep. Donate to us. And people will be like, haha, lol, so random. And then they will. I don't know if that'll work. That'll work if, if we can get behind a charity, if we can get a charity to do that, that'll work. <laughs> Look at how many roll. And no one will be able to get uh, angry at us and say, oh, you're just gaming the system with your marketing ploys, like the berries and cream little lad or whatever. You know why? Because we're a charity and you're not allowed to get angry at charities. Okay. Berries and cream? Yeah. I don't know what that was. The little lad. I don't know. Goes, berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. What were they raising? And then, and then oh, money no, for? it was a Starburst ad. <laughs> 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 Wait, for real? Is that yeah. real? Is that real? Yeah. You're not making this up. No. <laughs> were people mad at that? Uh, not many people, but some people are like, "Oh, marketing is just marketing is being all ironic just to cater to kids and uh, and to the internet to try and go viral." Which I mean, I guess is kind of yeah, true. Yeah, but it's better than normal ads, maybe. Okay, maybe. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look but up the berries and cream ad. They can't get angry at us for doing it. You know why? Charity. Charity. Have I been too edgy this episode? You're pretty edgy. I don't know why I'm being so edgy. You've been so... Because so, are you a bad boy now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I'm going to start out the episode saying I was a bad boy. and so. Do you want... Are you re- re- saying that now? Do you want me to put this at the front of the yeah, episode? I think, I think we should... I'm a bad boy now. Just that bit. Just that bit? Just that bit. Don't put any of the rest of this... At the start of the video. Video? It's just, it's, it's just I mean, purely episode, a podcast. Just like this is just the start bit to establish the fact that I'm being a, So you're, a, you want me to just cut that bit out. Now. I'm a bad boy now. Yeah, yeah. just that But not bit. me Don't doing it. You doing it. 
Don't do the rest of this. Don't do the rest of this segment. Don't put that thing, ha ha, funny. I'll put the rest of the entire thing. I'll, I'll clip the audio and I'll do the whole thing. I'll put the whole thing at the start. Don't. Oh, do I wouldn't put the whole thing that. at the start. I'm not going to put the whole thing at the start. Better not. Okay. Oh, wait, you're just going to put, I'm a bad boy now and then it's going to cut to this. Is that your plan? <laughs> Well, this is the second. No, this isn't the second segment. No, no, no. But you, the like this segment will come up randomly. What like you're not, you're you're gonna use this audio. Are you gonna use this audio? I use all the audio. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling bad? Yeah, I'm a bad boy now. Want to hear my gut drum? Yeah. All podcasts should have to do that between segments. Yeah, people they they they're on the they're on the media's and they're like, oh, oh, that's just a stereotype. That's just a stereotype. Do you think stereotypes are really a bad thing? I mean, yeah, I feel like yeah. <laughs> Why? Are we talking racial stereotypes? Oh, now hang on. How is this going? To- <laughs> Yeah, because I feel like that's the only Why are we doing this? The racial stereotypes are not the only types of stereotypes. You should have said subculture stereotypes oh. or something like that. How yeah, about, you oh, you're a stereotypical should, dad. You should have clarified I thought that. you might have gone for that. Yeah. You went straight for racial stereotypes. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable now. Because you just said racial. Because it was going to be hanging the air with... Don't use this audio. Don't use this audio. <laughs> uh, You're so. You might, need to, you might need to make some edgy, edgy version of of this pod. Just this podcast pod. too this edgy episode, for you. This yeah. episode. Zesty life hacks say- after dark. Is that what this is? Hello, I'm the late night DJ for Zesty Life Hacks after dark. This has no strength with language, with edgy Hardy, but it's just a little bit more edgy. Yeah, so our stereotypes like necessarily in okay. themselves a bad no, thing. No, start again. Okay, <laughs> you start again. You gotta say like subculture. Oh, okay. So, uh, are subcultural stereotypes necessarily like inherently a bad thing? Once in every lifetime, becomes <laughs> a life like this. Oh, I need you. You need me. Oh my darling, can't, can't you see? see the young ones. Ooh, Why are we seeing the young ones? Da, 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 young ones. Ooh, wee, ooh. Young ones. <laughs> Shouldn't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> because to they, live they use a stereotypical people. They got the punk, the hippie, uh, the, the cool guy and and the beat poet. The beat poet. Do you think he's a stereotypical beat poet? I think so, yeah. And, and um, Neil is a stereotypical yeah, hippie? Yeah, he's like, oh, this is totally unrad, man. I, I don't he think he's ever th- said unrad. <laughs> I, I, he said uncool. Oh, yeah, not cool. Uncool. Uncool. Said, said that to his, to his dad's uh, brother. Uncool. <laughs> I'm done with this. I want to have it. It was going to be a very good conversation. And it just ended up you freaking out, and that was it. <laughs> then you did a bad pun. A bad pun. Oh, you're a stereotypical teenage podcaster, is what you are. <laughs> you see, they stole my idea for a TV show. What was your idea? Well, and so there's this TV show on Australia now called Hunted. I had that idea. Yeah, but I had that idea like 10 years ago. But that's fine. But I had that idea. I think they've executed it really well. Yeah. So my question for you, Hardy, is how would you go on the run when oh. you've got XSAS and police professional police trackers and they just scour your social media, they know everyone you know, they're coming after your phones, they're tracking your friends' phones, they they hacking into telemetric data in your car. They just they just know everything. How are you going on the run to try and win the grand prize? Whatever that is, I don't know. Easy, easy, easy. 
Man, some people on the show thought it was easy and they got caught like within eight hours. That's because they aren't me. Radio, what do you got? And now, basically, what I do, now you think you need companionship. What you need to do is win the million dollars or however much it I is. I don't know what it is. I think it might just be because it's fun. Okay. That seems fun. All right. That you're just going to win. When you're not going to jail and getting hunted, that's a fun time. <laughs> okay, so. Criminals you, got us so good. Every time these people get Except caught on this show, actually, they, they get really upset. They're like, oh, damn. Oh. Yeah, because it, it was so fun. Yeah. Well, I don't and know. And now it's over. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, how are you getting away? Anyway, so how am I getting away? Yeah. Easy. So my, my partner, the, the other, because there's two people in it. Yeah. Isn't there? Well, so what it is is. You give them your phone and then you're on the run and you have to last so many days before professional people hunters track you down. And they are, they're well resourced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. Was, they was, had helicopters and yeah. ground teams and a, like, a, like a command station with a big telly. My, and, okay, so here's what we do. And one guy was wearing his capture pants. Is that is... The thing about Hunted is I think I like I like the sort of office dynamic of all the office people more than I like the hunters. Yeah, the people on the they're, run, they're yeah, just well, they're camping. Yeah, yeah, but then the the people in the thing are like, Oh, we got them! Woo, let's go! It's so fun. I'm wearing my capture pants. I'm wearing my capture pants, and then the social media people are like, Oh, we found something on the social media, and then they're like Cool, bam, bam good job, bam. yeah, go. Let's go. To the guys in the car, and they're the guys in the car, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're, we're just we're just drive me and my best bud driving along looking for random people, but they're not actually dangerous." It's epic. Okay, but, so, uh, so so, so how are you getting hunting, away? How are you getting away from that dynamic crew of well, before, top people? Beforehand, I just really flatter them. I'm like, "Oh my god." I, I love your capture pants and stuff on my social media. So then when they get my phone, they see how much I love their stuff. Yeah, yeah. Then basically I make a new friend. <laughs> I don't tell anybody about it. I don't post you, it on social media. You make it that day. Media. You make a friend that day. I, and my friend has a boat, okay? So straight away what I do is I go to the ATM. I collect all the money. I complete. I get all the money. I buy carrots and pasta, all ramen, f- ramen, I, you're getting ramen. Yeah, ramen, all the ramen I need for the rest of the day. I get day in, or days, coming I, days, all, all the days. Yeah, I I get a friend with a boat. I get my f- the the friend on the boat. Are I, you paying that person in ramen? I I'm uh I'll pay him in the prize because I'm definitely going to win. Yep. My the my associate is also running the other way, but they're just doing like normal capture stuff. So your other your other partner, you ditch them straight away, and then yeah. you go find a, this other friend with the boat. Yeah, and the other partner just needs to, I guess, rely on themselves. Yeah, you've they ditched them. Do, no loyalty yeah, yeah, there. No, because like we need to spread out. We need to maneuver this so we get the money. And I, I could be the other partner in the plan. Yeah, okay. Because that might actually be more fun. Because this one's not very fun. Because what you do is basically. Uh, you get in on the guy's boat, you drive really far, uh, you land on a very remote beach, no uh, entrances, you go into the woods and you camp there for the entire time. You don't leave any lights on at night. Uh, you maybe have like a swag so you can put a little bit of light in, in there. You're secluded. I guess you've got the cameraman with you. What about the the guy though? You letting him go back to maybe get questioned? Mm, no, I asked him to to sink his boat. Go into he has to sink his boat. <laughs> go into WA. Go, he just keep going to WA. Yeah, just, you're like so from one from the, the Melbourne side of Australia to the other side of Australia. He's yeah. basically dropping you off on the way. So yeah. that's the friend you have to make is somebody who's leaving the day of the thing. Yeah. Oh. WA Northern Territory. He can just keep going. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Just, but he's just going to drop you. He's just going to drop side. you off into a secluded little cove where there aren't really any tracks yeah. at all into, on the way. Yeah, it's not a bad plan. It's not a bad plan. You seem quite hyped up about it though. I don't know if you could maintain that energy for twenty days. Yeah, maybe I've got to get a real low energy friend to actually do the things and then I'll be the guy just running around just like, oh, I'm never going to catch me. 
I'm wearing my not- <laughs> Why are you shooting at them? <laughs> it's a TV show. <laughs> Shooting up in the air <laughs> at the helicopters. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> yeah, and so I do all the silly stuff. Yep. And maybe you're getting maybe caught. I hire a body double. You're getting caught in under so, a minute. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting caught straight away. I'm, I, I'm not meant to last the entire time. I oh, my friend is. You're the decoy. And also, I maybe get another decoy to pose as... My partner. Is that how you get away? You just get a, you just hire a flash oh, mob yeah. of yourself? And, uh, well, yeah, I hire a bunch of suspicious people or I just try and make it fashionable to wear, like, glasses and a hat. Oh, so you start a social media campaign <laughs> weeks and months before and now everybody's wearing dark glasses and baseball caps. And also I completely changed my look months months before and then I go back to my normal look straight away because people will be expecting me to have on a beard, but they won't expect me to completely not have on a beard. Yeah, I reckon you could do it. Yeah, and so I might, I might not get it very far. I might get to like three days, but like my friend... Who's just going to be in a swag on a beach? Yeah. Yeah. Good work. With like a DVD player. Oh. They bring a DVD player. What's he watching? Cars 2. 